Stockpile Hobbies. Welcome back to Stockpile Hobbies, everyone. Uh, today we're going to do a little uh, house cleaning here. Talk about the, the channel a little bit and uh, look at some cars that have been underperforming recently. So, uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of hectic around here. Had it slow down a little bit with the video production. Uh, I was really doing good there, doing one video a day for the week. Uh, it was just, it's a lot of work to film and edit and publish and then also do all the other things that I, we all have going on in our lives. Um, I hope to get back into that swing again now that things have calmed down a little bit. We've done a lot of changes around here in the, where we film in the basement, uh, rearranging things for uh, Kim's Pony Channel. Uh, a lot of infrastructure things went on with the track here, installing this drag strip as well as some things with the cars that I have and an ATV that I picked up a quad. Uh, lots of other work. The weather was nice for a couple days here the past couple weeks, so a lot of outdoor things were happening. Uh, this week looks really rainy, so uh, there'll be some. I think there's going to be some uh, slot car videos being made. So um, subscriber count, uh, it's down. Uh, and only 19 subscribers in the past 28 days. Uh, last time I talked about subscriber count, we were 32 subscribers. Uh, for the 28-day mark, so almost, uh, almost half. Uh, that that hurts. Uh, so yeah, I think it might be related to the video production, just slowing down the number of uh, videos I'm putting out. Uh, it's affecting subscribers. But please, if you're watching this and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. It helps us in in, in getting the channel, YouTube, the algorithm, the way it uh, will share the video for people to watch. Uh, and how often and other things that it does, I, I don't even know, but it, it does affect it. Even the likes, giving it a thumbs up really does affect uh, how it's shared to people of interest and uh, where it gets promoted by YouTube on the channel. So uh, please, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe. We really appreciate that. So let's move on to some of the underperforming cars we have here. So while we were drag racing uh, while off camera, uh, some of the cars started having some problems. Uh, I think they're all Tyco also. We have the uh, the Nissan uh, Z car here, the Z car. And my, one of my favorites, my uh, my Corvette. Um, so let's just do a check on the dyno here and see how they are looking. I do love this dyno. I, I didn't think I would get as much use out of it when I got it. Um, I didn't have the channel at the time when I, when I first got the dyno. I think it was the first video I made, actually, I used it, and that's... It does, uh, it's great. I love having this thing. It's just fun to use. And I, I have the dual set up here. Uh, it's brief comparisons and uh, troubleshooting. So let's see what we can find. So the, the body's causing some uh, issues here in the dyno. I'm just going to pull the body off of that car. Oh, that is weird. Alright, so I, I think this one's got some uh, shoe problems. It's very sensitive to where it's running. Um, turn the back on. I'm going to try to move the mic away from the dyno. So we're running about 9 volts here. They're both running about 0.20 amps. Um, that looks fine. I think it's the, just the sensitivity. I mean, if I just move this car a little bit, it shuts off. That's kind of what we were seeing on the return loop here when we were drag racing. We would uh, drag race and I put in the return loop and it would just kind of clunk out. Um, looking at the shoes, they, they could use a cleaning. That's for sure. Uh, gear looks okay. Uh, I'm going to try and clean the shoes a little bit. Springs... That's good. So I'm going to clean this one up and then we'll, we'll give it a run on the return loop and see if it uh, performs. The, the vet's run fine. I don't know what was the gig with this one. Uh, again, this might be the shoes. I'm going to give them a cleaning also. Uh, let's look at the next two cars here. Um, oh, the one. This one just needs a pin. The pin broke when we were drag racing because I had a, I guess I had a bad pin in there. So uh, I'll get that replaced. But the, the Lambo here. Let's see what's going on. Uh, that's horrible. Point four nine. Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. 
Uh, ooh, wow. Did that actually wear a hole? Yeah, wow. It actually wore a hole through the shoe. Uh, so this, this guy needs brand new shoes. Uh, we did, we use this car a lot. Uh, if you've watched any of the videos you've seen, we always use this car. Because it was the first one I put tires on. Enzo got used to it, and we would use it for the baseline a lot of things. But uh, we literally wore through the, the shoe on the car. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's an easy one. I like it when it's easy to troubleshoot and figure out what's going on. So uh, we'll get some new shoes on this, and uh, we'll check it out here and uh, see if it works again. Speaking of new shoes... I do have this upgrade kit. I know, it's old and, you know, it's for decoration, but oh, it's got, got lettered tires in there and an axle, and I think I think we're going to open this thing. I, I'm, not, I'm not one for keeping things anymore. I used to be a guy in the box, keep everything in the box, or open it and keep it nice. I don't care anymore. I, I, I'm, I, I believe in enjoying it and experiencing it and using it. There's other examples out there in the world. So if you've got things like this, unless you're collecting it to post up use the things and I think I'm, I am going to use this but before I crack this open I think I do have some other Tyco uh, shoes yeah, I, I can't find it I, I don't even know if I even have them anymore it's been it's been so long since I've seen them and I moved everything so here it is try not to cry when I do this <laughs> get a, get, we'll get a shot for the, the thumbnail here before I do it Little uh, production action here. <laughs> All right, there's our thumbnail. Here we go. I want some shoes. Uh, I'm gonna smell 1986. Smells like today. <laughs> uh, from the time capsule of long ago. Any springs in here before I go crazy? Uh, no, I don't think there are springs in here. Oh, there's a guide pin too. You know what? I need a guide pin. You know I have them, but uh, that's perfect. I'm gonna get some use out of this thing. The tires. I'm gonna figure out what car we're gonna put the letter tiring on. I'll let Enzo pick that. But, uh, let me get some shoes out here. There's two of them. Those are great. You see we get uh, two pairs of rears. Uh, three pairs of rears. One of them's on an axle. And only one pair of fronts, though. And uh, two pairs of shoes in the package. Uh, awesome. Let's get these, uh, let's put these to use. Way I see it, one less box in the basement. <laughs> so, um, not the most exciting thing to watch, but if you've never done this before... Uh, the shoes come right off. You just pull the front here. Actually, you know what might help? There's a light. Now that we have some light. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get these off. And make sure we throw them out. That's so wild that it wore through the shoe that we used it so much. There's your problem. So now to put the new shoe on, there's a little spring in here, and the spring is meant to uh, get under the lip here. I don't know if that's even come up on the camera. There's a little lip here where my nail is, and that keeps the tension on it to touch the track. So you gotta get the shoe mounted onto the car. It will sit in the the pocket in there. I don't even know if that's even showing up on camera because my giant hands. the The shoe will go into the slot car here. And then the spring will go into the bottom, and it will go on. I got pretty lucky with that. That only took about two minutes. Usually, sometimes it can take ten minutes or forever to get that done. But uh, I was able to put the shoe in place, clip it on the front, and then take the small screwdriver and take the spring and just m move it into position underneath the lip. And now we should be good. That makes me wonder about some of the other cars that are underperforming um, on the dyno, where um, I'm thinking it's the motor. But it might just be they all need new shoes and. Maybe an investment I'm going to make here. The other thing are these tires. I put these tires on here, and you know they're they're made by whoever on eBay. But uh, I got I think I got to clean these. They get real dirty. And I think um, 
I saw someone do this before with some, like, uh, some sandpaper, like some, like, 2,000 grit or something. And, uh, you just put the car on the track with the tires in the air, and you slowly lower the, the tires onto the sandpaper, and it refreshes the surface, <laughs> retreading tires. Uh, I think we're going to do that. We'll give it a try here. And it's no big deal if it doesn't work. I'll just put some brand new black tires on it. All right. That's back together. Dino's on. And no, something's still wrong. Uh, the car is running at 0.53 amps. Something is definitely wrong. All right. Are the tires too close together? Maybe the tire is rubbing the side of the chassis. Uh, yes, it is. All right, that's, there's another problem there. All right, so let's move this wheel a little bit out. Uh, okay, that feels better. Now that, that could happen for me as I put the, as you notice, I, I hold the rear tires and I put bodies on. And if I pinch too hard, I could probably slide that rear tire in a little bit. Or if someone else was using the car and they did that. Let's try this again. Oh, there she is. 0 0.15, 0 0.16. What a difference moving a tire up eighth of an inch <laughs> and some new shoes. Uh, that's great. All right, let's give the car a shot of oil. I'm going to warm it up. Stage and go. Ah, oh, my ET wasn't that good. Uh, my RT wasn't that good there. I was sleeping, eating a sandwich there. <laughs> Let's go take a look at how the car did. Uh, just about one second. Pretty good. And my reaction was 0.281. Oh, I, it was pretty good. I wasn't eating a sandwich. So, not bad. And let's try the return loop. Look at the front tire was coming off there. Get a little more juice. Track, the return loop was acting a little weird there. Um, it was running at 12. I just picked it up to like, I don't know, 18 or 16, but it's working now. I say that. I don't know. So I don't know if that's the car or if that's the track. Let's try another car. Deslotted. So quick. So, yeah, some cars work a little bit better on the, the return loop. It's a little weird. I'll try one more here. We'll try the Porsche. I think it's a... Let's see how the Porsche does. Yeah, it works fine. I'll try the other side of the trail. Still. Man, it's just weird. It's got no juice. Hmm. Try the bolt meter. Part of the track we have uh, 18, just over 18 volts. After the adapter, 18 volts on the long straight. 18, 18. It's the car. It's really weird. I'm gonna try the Enzo on the, uh, the other side of the track now. Please don't fall. Yeah, it's the car. So something's still up with this car. I don't know. Man, that tire looks awful. It's a pit in it. These tires are shot. This car does not like this march on track here. I don't like any of it. This is what I'm talking about, about the maintenance of the track. Just just running this straight track is like more maintenance than running that entire race track over there. It's like every time I try to use it, come down and play it, and it's just it's one thing after another. So this is the 
the narrow pan we did the slot car of the week on. The car's tuned up, ran good. Let's try it right here. Beautiful. So the Corvette's having a problem though. The Corvette could even make it down there. Hopefully it doesn't hit it. Yeah. So, though, I mean, it died there, but that's not where the dead track is. It's right after it. So I think that car might need shoes too, actually. So I was wrong about the Corvette. It made it all the way to the, the brake area of the dead track. Let's try the other side now with the Lambo. Man. Huh. That's weird. Well, it's working for all the other cars mostly, not the, the red Lambo. So uh, some further investigation is still needed. Um, let's try one of the Indy cars. They're also narrow pans. Uh, where's the Miller Lite car? I haven't seen anything in a while. It's over here. Let's try the Miller Lite. Um, these shoes do not look the best either. Like was my controller on the floor. Hope that didn't break. But let's see what this does. Yeah, it's definitely that Lambo. All right, that car's gonna need some repairs, I think. Figure out that Lambo, and they made it all the way to the dead track. Perfect. The brake area right here. Dead. I cut all the, I ground off the connections here to make this a brake area so they don't fly off. You can just grab them and put them back up on the parking lot, highway, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna put the body back on the uh, Nissan Z car, and we'll run this down the track and see how it does. All right, I just gave it a shot of oil. Warm it up. I pulled the trigger there and didn't fire right away. I think it attached too high in the air. No, it's... Alright, we'll see what happens here. Stage and go. Did not go. Oh! Remember how I said that controller dropped and I hope it didn't break? I think it broke. <laughs> yeah, there goes the controller. I'm just holding it. It just shuts off. Uh, that's what I think of that. Great. <laughs> I have more controllers. I am going to invest in some real controllers. My worry is I'm going to invest in them and then they're going to fall on the ground and they're going to break. And I'm not going to have some, some money in them and they're going to break. But uh, I should put some, uh, some matting here, I think, across the floor. It might help it, because we drop these all the time. I drop them, Enzo drops them, we'll lay them up here, and they'll fall off, and they'll break. It's just a never-ending battle. It's not so bad with the racetrack, because the racetrack, we're usually sitting down, and we're closer to the, the floor. It doesn't have an as far of a fall, but over here, it's such a, you know, what is that, four foot, maybe? Three and a half feet of falls? I don't know. Great. Interesting video. I have a broken controller. Um, I got a shoddy Lamborghini. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab some sandpaper and we are going to do the tires. We're going to true it up. Let me grab that. Make, some, make something positive out of this whole video. Um, this car is still suspect a little bit. I didn't get a chance to run the Nissan. Actually, I can. I can flip it over to the other side of the track. We'll do that first. I'm going to flip the car over to the other side of the track and we're going to run this Nissan. All right. I pre-staged the car this time, so I'm going to start the clock and see if this actually works. It worked. I red lighted, but it worked. And it did it in 1.351, not the best time. So, it could be better. Now, let's go look at those Lambo tires. I don't remember if you're supposed to run the car in reverse or not, but uh, we're going to run in forward gear. And I'm just going to hold the car and I'm going to lower it onto the sandpaper. We're going to get an awful shadow from the light. There, that'll fix it. Alright, let's see what happens here. Oh, 
yeah, that one tire looks great. It's a lot better. It does put uh, debris on the track too when you do that, and you can see in the, the sandpaper there. There you go. Can't imagine that's really good for the motor either, but uh, tires look a lot better. Um, this one over here is a little, a little bad though. I'm gonna pull the one tire off because I don't want to true it anymore. It's good enough. I'm just gonna do the one side. Oh, that looks great. I'm a fan of that. Now, what I would do is I would put it on the, the racetrack over there, but uh, I wouldn't be able to get a time, though, because I'm still waiting for the, the new uh, clock tower to come in and the tree. So uh, we'll have to wait on that. But that worked beautiful. Uh, the tires look great. That engine's hot. That motor's hot. <laughs> but, uh, hey, that worked. There's some pitting going on. These silicones, this isn't the best silicone, and, but uh, I'm going to wear it out, and then when it's no good, I'll give it some new uh, black ones. So I got some more investigating to do with a couple of the cars here. I'm going to put a pin in this one, uh, this Nissan this Suspect, this chassis. I do have the new chassis I showed off, so maybe this car will be one of the ones that gets a new chassis. Uh, the Lambo, it looks like it might be working a little better. It's still having some problems coming down the return loop. Uh, I don't have any narrow pan chassis, so this won't just have to do. Maybe I will take this one apart, though, and uh, clean the brushes here on the com. Um, maybe that's a good idea. I think I will do that, actually. The Silver Vet is also having some problems still. Uh, I'll try some new shoes on that, and if that doesn't work, I'll do the brushes as well. So, what did we learn? We learned that when you drop your controllers, they break. The track is a pain in the butt to maintain the drag strip. Who knew? and we uh, put old parts to good use and uh, having 50 plus slot cars is a pain in the butt to maintain. <laughs> so hope you like to watch me fail. It brings all the raised subscribers. So I hope you like this video. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw. Please subscribe to the channel if you're watching this and you haven't, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Please let others know about it too if you think it's great. Really appreciate it. And keep having fun everyone. And of course, our new kittens, and now they don't look like kittens anymore. It's been a couple months. A katana and scorpion down here keeping me company. And chase the slot cars? Yeah.